Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, it is stinking hot in uh, British Columbia right now, pretty much right across the southern section of the province. Um, I'm on Vancouver Island right now, I'm trying to get away from the heat. Uh, I've been doing some more work in, in Parksville, uh, but it was just getting too hot. So I've decided to come out to the west coast to a place called Euclulet. Now, some of you may recall, if you watch my videos from the very start, a year or a year or so ago, I came out here and I did a short video about Euclulet. Um, so I've come out here again and it's quite a bit cooler. The only problem is, is that we just have these bright blue sunny day skies. So uh, lights, that's not gonna be great. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. The nice thing about Euclulet and the the, um, the trail here is called the Wild Pacific Trail, is that you you can get uh, uh, morning light and evening light. So it's a good place to come for that. Uh, the coastline is pretty dramatic, so it's nice for that, and it's easy access. So I'm just going to stay overnight, and then I'm going to go back to Parkville tomorrow morning. Um, all right, enough waffling. Uh, let's go and find some uh, compositions. All right. <laughs> It's funny, uh, Euclulet is probably one of the wettest uh, locations in, uh, in Canada. But every time I come here, I get cloudless blue skies. <laughs> and, I always, and I always end up at this location trying to take this shot here. And uh, I'm always a little disappointed because I never get any great light here. Um, I like the framing of the, the, the trees and, and just of course the, the rock formations and they're separated nicely by the, the patches of ocean in there. So it has a really nice west coast feel to it, but it's just lacking light. Now, as the sun was going down, the light wasn't terribly great. So I took a whole bunch of drone footage and a couple of drone images um, from up high. Um, but I'm just stopping here to take a few quick shots of uh, of this little scene here. I have quite a few images of this and actually uh, if you watch my video from last year I stopped off in the, this exact same spot. <laughs> oh well now this doesn't get morning light uh, the other side of the kind of peninsula here gets morning light so we'll try again in the morning. Uh, I do see some coastal fog out there so it might move and that would be really nice but otherwise it's just going to be hot, blazing blue skies again. Anyway, we'll keep persevering, keep trying. <laughs> All right. To be careful what I wish for. <laughs> I'm just about to be engulfed by uh, coastal fog. 
Now the, the sun is coming out now and then just behind me here. So I'm trying to get a shot. Um, there's like some grasses in the foreground and when the sun comes out, it kind of backlights them a little bit. So it gives the image a bit of depth. Uh, but the cloud is getting pretty thick right now. So I might be here for a while. Just kind of pops out every now and then. Of course, when the sun does pop out, then I'm faced with another problem. And that's, uh, you know, the contrast and the lens flare is, is pretty uh, substantial. since the light isn't cooperating very, very well. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take a bit of artistic license. Now, the clouds have kind of moved in again, but get a really nice view of the broken group of islands out here. So I think what I'm gonna do is take a whole bunch of uh, close-ups uh, uh, verticals, make them into a pano, and then uh, really dramatize the clouds and, and darken them and, and bring some light in there. Uh, it's gonna be a, a total Photoshop work out because <laughs> it's such a, a, a great view of the islands there but it's really hard to kind of you know portray them because just uh there's a, there's quite a big gap between the foreground here rocks and the ocean there's not a lot going on in the ocean right now so it doesn't add a lot of interest i mean i love i love the mood of the fog it's just uh, trying to capture it doesn't isn't working with this scene i don't think around here are just fantastic because it gets so windy here and the, and the weather gets rough in the winter a lot of the limbs break off and uh, you get all these contorted uh, trees also the canopy above is very very dense because the the branches are always continually being broken off so they keep growing back so you get this really twisted dense trees Actually, I might see if I can get a shot of this. I, I have tried to, to take a photograph of this before and I just can't seem to get the, the right angle, but maybe I'll give it another go. It's really, really quite unusual. Well, that was a very quick trip to Euclulet. Uh, the, yeah, the fog's really moved in now, so it's not looking terribly promising. I haven't had an awful lot of luck with weather lately, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's the, the kind of adverse conditions that are gonna give you that, that really great light that, um, that makes your images just a bit different to everybody else's. Um, sometimes it works out, 90% uh, of the time it doesn't work out. So you, you're not going to know until you actually come to these places and, and, and keep trying. And eventually you'll, you'll get the shots that you want or the light that you want. Uh, I just absolutely love it in Euclulet. Uh, it's a, a beautiful location, but you know, the light here is like everywhere else. It's fleeting. Regardless, had a nice time. It was a quick trip and it served its purpose to get out of the heat of the day. All right, everybody, thanks ever so much for watching again. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you enjoy the content of my channel, be sure to subscribe. All right, until next time, thanks, bye.